Hello muggles, I'm Saurabh and welcome to Harry Potter fan club. If you're a muggle like me and a real Harry Potter fan too and you wanna know more and more about Resolving World then you are at the right place. Well in this video we're gonna discuss about top 10 most powerful spells in the Harry Potter series. So as we know that the spells of the Harry Potter universe are classified into 7 types so first let us discuss them one by one. Number 1 is Transfiguration. Transfiguration is used for alteration of the object form or appearance. There are two types of transfiguration, true transfiguration and conjuration. Well, conjuration is a great topic and I will definitely make a separate video about it. So transfiguration is considered one of the most hard and extremely powerful subjects throughout the wizarding world. Some examples of transfigurations are Veravolto and Abyss. Number 2 are charms. Well, charms are my personal favorite spells. Charms are used for alteration of the object inherent qualities that is its behavior and capabilities. When charms are cast by an experienced practitioner, charms appear to usually have a long lasting effect. Some examples of charms are Expelliarmus and Expecto Patronum. Number 3 are Counter Spell. Counter spells are used for termination of the effect of another spell. There are many four types of counter spell: counter jinxes, counter curses, counter charm, and untransfiguration. They all share the common trait of inhibiting another spell. Finite incantatum is a widely used spell used to terminate spell effect in general. Number four are healing spells. As we can guess from its name, it is used for improving the condition of a living injured or ill target. Well, there are not much information available about healing spells, but I do believe that these kind of spells are awesome. Episki and Valnana Sinental are the best example of healing spells. Number 5 are Jinxes. Jinxes are also called Minor Dark Magic. Jinxes are those spells whose effects are irritating but amusing. They only give minor inconvenience to the target. Jinxes can only be maintained as long as the caster keep an eye contact. Impedimenta is an excellent example of Jinx which would impede the forward motion of an object. Number 6 are Hexes. Hexes are those kind of spells that consistently affect the object in a negative manner. It is also a form of a dark magic at Jinx but it is more powerful and severe than Jinxes. It gives major inconvenience to the target and have a long lasting effect. The best example of Hex is Dinsazio. This is a type of Hex that would horribly enlarge the target's teeth. Number 7 are Curses. These are indeed worst kind of dark magic intended to affect the target strongly in a negative manner. We know a lot of example of Curses like Sectum Tempera, Imperio and Avada Kedavra. Now let's move to that part of the video which you all are waiting for so let's begin Number 10 Protago Maxima Protago Maxima is the stronger version of the shield charm that provides almost impregnable magical protection barrier. In the Deathly Hollows Part 2, we saw the immense power of the Protago Maxima spell when not a single head hunter and death eater was able to penetrate the protection charm created by Professor Phileas Fitwick and other teachers of Hogwarts. Number 9 Obliviate Spell Obliviate spell, also known as memory charm, was a charm that was used to erase specific memory or memories of the target. Well, in the first appearance, this spell might seem not much powerful, but if we see carefully, then we can easily understand that why it is so powerful. It has the power to ruin someone's entire life, as we had seen in the case of Gildroy Lockhart, who lost his whole memory. There were very few wizards and witches that were able to perform this spell finely. Perfect cast of Obliviate spell can permanently erase the memory of victim and there's no way to get recovered from the effect of this spell. Number 8 Expelliarmus Expelliarmus is a very common spell and any witch and wizard can easily use it without any difficulty and that's the reason why most of the people think that this one is very cliched and weak. But Pure Blood Potter has known that this spell was extremely powerful and useful. Expelliarmus is the only spell which can save you from Avada Kedavra as we have seen many times in the case of Harry. The best thing about Expelliarmus charm is that it could disarm multiple opponents if they were all in the close proximity to one another. Multiple or exceptionally powerful disarming charm were even able to send a target flying and sometimes to the extent of knocking them unconscious. Number 7 Sectum Sempra Sectum Sempra was a curse invented by Professor Severus Snape that lacerated 
obliterate the target and causes severe hemorrhaging. Snape created it as a student of Hogwarts with the intention of using it against enemies and it became one of his specialities. Harry almost killed Malfoy in Harry Potter and Hoblet Prince with the help of this spell. The next year, George lost an ear due to mistake of Snape. In my opinion, this spell should be in the list of unforgivable curses, but it was not because not many people knew about this spell and they would need to know its existence to ban it. Number 6 Fiendfire Fiendfire was a curse that produced enchanted flame of immense size and heat that were capable of destroying nearly anything in its path. It takes the gigantic shape of any beast like serpent, dragons and birds of prey that seek out living targets. Fiendfire was advanced dark magic and it was one of the few known substances capable of destroying horcruxes. The most deadliest thing about this spell was that it cannot be extinguished by normal or enchanted water. Number 5 Imperious Curse the Impedious Curse was one of the three unforgivable curses. When cast successfully, it places the victim completely under the caster's control. This makes it unique among the unforgivable curses as it was the only one of them with known reliable method of resistance. Unlike other unforgivable curses, effects of this spell was not an unpleasant experience. An adequately imperious being is placed under the caster's total control and may be directed to do anything as the caster wishes, including crimes such as murder, political corruption, and assassination. After end of the effect of this spell gives some damage to brain and also affect thinking power. Number 4 Cruciatus Curse Well you guys might be thinking that I should have put Imperious Curse here, but let me explain why Cruciatus Curse is more deadly than Imperious Curse. The Cruciatus Curse also known as Torture Curse was a tool of the Dark Art and one of the three unforgivable curses. It was one of the most powerful and sinister spell known to wizard kind. But these are bookish knowledge, let me tell you my opinion about it. So Cruciatus Curse was unblockable curse. We can resist Imperious Curse but not Cruciatus Curse. Besides, when someone was affected by Imperious Curse, he or she had no idea what they were doing and what happened to them. Whoever was affected by Imperious Curse was not able to feel pain and fear. But Cruciatus Curse give excruciating pain to the target. It cannot be blocked by any spell and person must have to endure all the pain. In Reason to that, much use of Cruciatus Curse can result to permanent loss of memory or lifelong paralysis or even to death. Number 3 Avada Kedavra Well, I don't think that anyone need any kind of description about the power of Avada Kedavra. When cast successfully on a living person or creature, the curse causes instantaneous painless death without causing any injury to the body and without any trace of violence. The killing curse was conventionally unblockable curse, therefore shield charm would not be able to defend against it. But as I said before, Expelliarmus charm was an exception. The killing curse was accompanied by blinding flash or jet of green light and rushing sound when being cast. It was known by most wizards as you know whose signature spell. The curse required great skill power and intent in order to perform correctly. As Alistair Moody claimed that if all the students before him were to get out their wands and perform it on him at one time, he would likely be completely un affected as he believed that they all lacked the necessary power needed to cast the spell. It also required few willingness at times desire to commit murder. Number 2 Expecto Patronum The Patronus charm was one of the most famous and one of the most powerful defensive charm known to wizard kind. It was immensely complicated spell that evoked most powerful positive energy force known as Patronuses or Spirit Guardians. There are two types of Patronuses, corporal which means a particular shape and form and incorporate which has no particular shape. Every Patronus is as unique as its creator and even identical twins have been known to produce very different Patronuses. There were also some advanced form of Patronus charms that is to send messages through Patronus and there were only few wizards and witches that were capable of doing this kind of Patronus and they were Minerva McGonagall, Kingsley Shacklebolt and Hermione Granger. Now before going to the number one, I wanna do some honorable mentions. So number one was Killing Curse of Molly Weasley and Antonin Toloho. I wanted to put them on the top 10 list but the reason why I didn't put them on the top 10 list was lack of information and explanation about these spells. Number 2 is Horcrux spell. Well, Horcrux spell managed to make you immortal but in a very dark and brutal way and personally I hate this one. 
Number 3 was Time Turner. This one was very special but there were a lot of exceptions and problems. One can only travel in the past and also for a very limited time. There were also spells like Serpent Sotia, Leslie Mency, Occlumency, Fiddless Charm and Apparition that were indeed very powerful. And now number 1 Sacrificial Charm. This one is the only spell of the entire series which has true power of love, sacrifice and honesty. And this one is the only spell which is extremely rare. in the entire series we saw it only two times, first time when Lily sacrificed for Harry and second time when Harry sacrificed for all of his friends and teachers. If we see it carefully then there was not a single person died after the event of Forbidden Forest from Harry's side. We really don't know how much powerful Harry's sacrificial charm was but it had real power of love. The best thing about the spell was it exists in our real world. I don't know how many of you are going to agree with me for the last one but I do believe that no spell is more powerful than power of love. Alright guys so that was my list of top 10 most powerful spell. If your list is different then let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the video then just press the like button and if you wanna watch more videos like this press the subscribe button and the bell button below so you'll be notified every time I'm on YouTube. At last I wanna share a quote with you. It matters not what someone is born but what they grew to be. So by these beautiful lines I would like to end up my say till then goodbye and have a great day.